So I have the uh, great honor and pleasure to introduce uh, Jeremy Lamprey. Um, I got a chance to speak with Jeremy uh, prior to this, and we began to sort of share an affinity for, for starting companies and, and building companies together. And Jeremy, of course, is the CEO of Monkey Tie, but that is not everything he's going to be talking about today. While he was building his company, he realized that some of the HR policies, I mean, some of the HR trends in France weren't working for him and his business. They were built around an old school philosophy and a traditional model, which didn't work for him in what he was, achieving, what he was trying to achieve. And so with that, he decided that he would create HR Lab. And the whole idea was he would get together with some of his com competition, some of his biggest competitors, and together they would lobby the French government for innovation when it comes to HR. I think so many of us that start companies and build companies, we get very caught up in the day-to-day -day activities what we have to do. We have shareholders, we have employees, we have investors, we have all these stakeholders. And the fact that Jeremy has actually carved out time in his schedule, day and a half a week in fact, to ensure that he's actually not only making his company better, but making the French business community better, I think is absolutely exemplary. I'm, I'm proud to uh, proud to introduce him. So ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy. Good afternoon, everyone, again. So the skills we need to be successful today are very different of the ones people needed 30 years ago. And yet, what we learn at school is not very different. Actually, not only the schools, but also the whole system is out of date when it comes to defining skills. The skills we need in our modern world are not taught in schools, which is why they fail to prepare the young generations for the challenges they will have to face. I mean, we all know it. Education systems need to be renovated. And administrations and corporates need to, to take a new, an, a new understanding of what a talent is. I have been fighting this issue for four years now with the two companies I founded. The first one, Monkey Tie, specializes in defining talent, no matter the CV. And the other one, the HR Lab, is lobbying and raising awareness so that we can actually fight this issue before it is too late. Unemployment rates are booming all over the world. Right now, 30% of the world youth is unemployed. Some will say that slow growth is the main reason. Not to me. Automation. Automation is, should, is, is what we should be looking at. There are many routine tasks that can be easily performed by machines. It allows companies to remain more competitive. Yet, there are many non-routine tasks, much more complex, such as handcrafting, problem solving, or people management, which we still need humans for, either because it's too complicated for a machine to reproduce, or because the cost of automation is still too high. So, a solution might be to find out which skills are involved in these non-routine tasks. And luckily, some people have started thinking about it. But 15 years ago, OECD noticed that technology was changing the world at a pace schools were not prepared for. So they researched. And they found something. They called the skills we need the 21st century skills. You can find it in Google, but not in schools yet. Among these skills, four of them play a major role in our ability to learn, process, and interact. That's the four C's. The first one is creativity, to bring new ideas and think out of the box. Number two is critical thinking, to be able to process logically and efficiently. Number three is communication, to exchange information with others. And number four is cooperation, to share, to share efforts and brain capacity. It's really great news that we have this framework. The bad news is that OECD will need 15 more years before, before they can actually adapt it globally. So we can't wait. We need to act now, act locally. 15 months ago, I created the HR Lab, which now gathers over 220 startups 
focused in HR, education, and employment, and most of them are competitors. Together, we represent one of the most effective lobbies in France for transformation. Every week, we talk to ministers, CEOs, decision makers. How did we do that? The thing with lobbying is that there is always a link to make, a story to tell, and something decision makers will need. Just find it. In France, one of the top priorities is to find applicable solutions to fight unemployment. Well, when you have 220 startups specialized in this very topic, speaking with one voice in the media, trust me, it can be, it can be heard even in the offices of the most powerful people. That's how we did it. Once we got their attention, then it was easy. We could raise our issues and we could propose our solutions, very applicable, documented and detailed, to prove the feasibility. That's, that's how we did it. And what, once we did that, all we asked in return is that they provided us with the resources we need to take the lead and act. And it works. Now, CEOs from corporates, the government, they listen to us, they take advice from us, and in some cases, they even finance us. That's all it takes. So get together. Just, just find, fi find a way to build a nature lab in, in your country. And above all, use the skills that make you a talent. Be creative. Think and challenge. Cooperate and communicate. That's the key to the 21st century. Thank you.